Hey everyone, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here for our fifth and final example of integration by partial fractions. We've got the integral of x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 2 all over this repeated factor x squared plus 2 quantity squared. We have worked out our partial fractions for this actually in another video, so you can check out the work to get the partial fractions we're about to write down here in the link provided. That will give us the integral of, so let's see, we found an a and a b in that video, and our a was 1 and our b was negative 1, and we have x squared plus 2 as our first denominator, and then we ended up with a c of negative 1, so we get negative x over this x squared plus 2 squared. So if you want the details of how we got that, you can go ahead and check out that link we provided, that integral dx. Now, um, we're going to need to split the first one and take a look at the second one, and you'll kind of see what happens here, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. So my first one, if I split these, I get the integral of x over x squared plus 2 dx minus the integral of a 1 over x squared plus 2 dx minus the integral of x over x squared plus 2 all squared dx. Now resist the temptation to cancel the first and the last integral because this one has a squared in the bottom and this one does not, so they're not actually like terms that we can just reduce to zero. These are not so bad, though, in the way that we do them. If you look at this, um, you'll notice x squared plus 2, the derivative of that would be an x term, and we have an x term there, so u sub will work nicely. So we let u equal to x squared plus 2. du is 2x dx, and I have x dx, so I'll go ahead and divide both sides by 2. In other words, du over 2 is going to be my x dx, right? 1 half du is what I'm going to replace x dx with. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that first one. So that will give me 1 half integral of du over u, and that will give us 1 half ln absolute value of u, and my u in this one was x squared plus 2, and we'll leave it like that for now and come back to it in a bit. Let's look at this other one. This one here is actually an inverse tangent definition. So if you remember that the antiderivative of du over a squared plus u squared has a definition is 1 over a inverse tangent of u over a plus c there. So for this one, we have that a is equal to the square root of 2, and u is x, and du is dx. And so then this one becomes uh, minus the integral of du over a squared plus u squared then. So we go ahead and complete that. That will give us minus 1 over a, which is 1 over root 2. You can rationalize if you want. I'm probably not going to do that. Inverse tangent of u over a, which is x over root 2, uh, plus c. We'll go ahead and tack that on to the end once we get done with all of these. And for this one, again, if I choose u to equal x squared plus 2, I get a similar du situation on top to the first one, but we will just have a square on the bottom. So if I choose u to equal x squared plus 2, and then du is 2x dx, again, dividing both sides by 2, I'll get 1 half du is equal to x dx, and then I can just replace the x dx directly. So for this one, I'll get minus 1 half, because there's a negative out front, integral du over u squared. Now this one's not a log rule like du over u, this is du over u squared. This is a power rule, so I'm going to work out just a little bit of extra stuff here. Negative 1 half integral u to the minus 2 du. So if I go ahead and think about negative 1 half, 
I raise the power by 1, that would be u to the minus 1, and then dividing by that new power, dividing by negative 1, is going to turn our 1 half out front positive. So we will have plus 1 half uh, u to the minus 1. So I guess if I go ahead and change that, we would say x squared plus 2 to the minus 1. And we'll go ahead and clean this up a bit. So we'll say 1 half ln of x squared plus 2 is always positive, so I don't need the absolute value, so we'll leave that off, x squared plus 2 in parentheses, minus 1 over root 2, or if you want to say square root 2 over 2, you can. Um, at this point in calculus, I don't do a lot of rationalizing, but you may have an instructor or some peers that prefer otherwise, in which case you can certainly rationalize. Inverse tan of x over root 2, you could rationalize that as well. Since this is to the negative 1, it's really in the bottom of the fraction, so we'll say 1 over uh, 2 times x squared plus 2. You could distribute the 2 if you like. I'm going to leave it the way it is, I think. All right, hopefully that helps you in your partial fraction integration. Um, again, if you need any details on the partial fraction part, you can check out the link that we provided at the beginning of the video for details on how to get the partial fractions. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in a future video.